So the Ukraine President Zelensky has been holding daily briefings, essentially to send out a message to Ukrainians saying don't give in to Russia, continue the fight as they have been for the last 20 days. Interestingly, Zelensky hasn't been in hiding. He's declared his location. He says, I'm living in the capital city of Kiev. Come and get me if you dare. He even visited a hospital and met with injured Ukrainian soldiers, handing out medals to all of them. And this is clearly a message to every Ukrainian, saying that the Ukraine president is leading from the front and will continue fighting Russian troops. He knows he's Putin's target number one. He knows his country can't match up to Russia's overwhelming military might. But Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky remains an image of valor, of defiance and fighting spirit. Steadfastly refusing to turn his back on his bruised, battered and bleeding Ukraine. Zelensky visited wounded Ukrainian soldiers in a hospital and was seen interacting with the heroes of this war. In an open dare to Putin's army, Zelensky released a video giving out his exact location, saying he stays right there in Kyiv and not in hiding showing the images from the lane outside his residence in this video message. Every time the Russians claim that Zelensky has fled the country fearing for his life, Zelensky has released a new video shattering the Russian claims and never mincing his words while slamming NATO for letting down Ukraine and the United States for rejecting a no-fly zone. In the last year, I clearly warned the leaders of NATO that if there will not be strong preventive sanctions against the Russian Federation, she will go to war. We were right. I repeat again, if you do not close our heavens, then it is only a matter of time when the Russian rockets will fall into your hands. Even donning the combat fatigue, helmet, and joining the Ukrainian troops in the front line. President тут, всі ми тут, наші військові тут, громадяни суспільства тут, всі ми тут захищаємо нашу незалежність, нашу державу. Так. Taking a cue from their brave president, thousands of Ukrainians have sent their families away to safety and stayed back to fight alongside President Zelensky. Supporting Zelensky in every step is the First Lady of Ukraine, Olena Zelenska. A vocal advocate of social causes, Olena through social media has continued to inspire and continue to provide comfort to Ukrainians. The big question remains, how long the president and all his loyal men withstand the might of approaching Russian invasion army? Bureau Report, India Today. And this morning, let's also tell you about what's playing out on the ground in Ukraine. Our reporters have been constantly getting you updates from the capital city of Kyiv. Russian troops haven't managed to enter the capital, but in the last 24 hours, there's been aggressive shelling and airstrikes on the suburbs of Kyiv, on the outskirts. And that's why many parts of uh, uh, Irpin, of Mykolaiv, are in very, very bad state because of the fact that you're seeing maximum shelling on buildings, on residential areas in these cities. For 19 days, it's been blood, damage, debris and devastation in different parts of Ukraine. Charred factories on the outskirts of Kyiv, residential buildings in Ukraine's capital engulfed in smoke, back-to-back -back blasts in Mariupol and commercial establishments in shambles. Ukraine is battered and bleeding. The shelling of the Antonov cereal production aircraft facility in Kyiv by the Russian army has destroyed it, a clear strategy to target aviation assets. The Antonov plant has been destroyed days after Russian forces targeted the world's largest cargo aircraft, the Antonov Maria. 
The city of Chernihiv is in ruins north of Kyiv. Deadly attacks by the Russian army has killed civilians. Buildings continue to burn, some being rescued from the rubble. As the Russian war machine approaches and encircles Kyiv, the suburbs are continuing to see massive damage. Repeated shelling has burnt residential areas in the area to the ground. Russia has attacked suburbs of the capital city of Kyiv. A town councillor of Brovary, just to the east of Kyiv, has been killed in the fighting. In Mykolaiv in south-central Ukraine, a school has been reduced to ruins after rockets hit the premises. Whereas in Mariupol, in the eastern part of the country, urban infrastructure has fallen like a pack of cards due to incessant, persistent attacks. A heart-wrenching image that defines the Mariupol hospital tragedy. A heavily pregnant woman being carried out on a stretcher after Russian airstrikes. This woman and her unborn child, according to the government, couldn't be saved. More casualties of the war. Important about today, about war. We will win. Glory to Ukraine. We were able to evacuate nearly 120,000 people using humanitarian corridors. The main task now is Mariupol. Our diplomatic effort is focused on aid to reach the city. A huge factory was ablaze after missiles hit the building in the city of Kharkiv, close to the Russian border. Plumes of smoke have engulfed neighboring buildings, bringing even more damage to a city that has been battered piece by piece, neighborhood by neighborhood. In a local area where there is no another military installation except the presidential buildings, TV tower, new business centers and students' residences. There is the same five-floor building where my father grew up and still lives my grandma. And here, two steps away, stands Dovzhenka Cinema where every week I went to see a new movie with my friends and family. Despite Russia intensifying its military operations, Ukraine continues to put up a fight, led by their president Zelensky, who refuses to flee. He met with wounded soldiers in a hospital where they are being treated. There is desperation in some uh, quarters to leave Kyiv as quickly as possible and head to the west, if not to Lviv, but to safer areas in the west. But with Russian missiles and rockets targeting places very close to Lviv, uh, it is very clear, as the mayor of uh, Bela Sirkov told India today, no place across Ukraine is safe as on date from Russian missiles and rockets. The question remains, will talks bring some semblance of peace or de-escalation intention that remains the biggest challenge with cameraman pavan kumar in kiev ukraine gaurav savant for india today